All right, what's going on, everybody? So here's a quick little rundown on just the, the brief menu crafting options here. In this first one, you have multiple sections across here. You can switch between. You can make tool belts, which will be the belt down here. One, two, three, one through zero. See that at the bottom of the screen? That's what a tool belt's for. What that allows me to do is to take like this item, and if I hold like one on it, Boom. Now, anytime I hit one, it pulls out my spear. All right, back to the crafting menu. Right here, you have... Wait, what's it doing? Nothing, nothing, nothing's changing now? Nothing, everything, okay. I was about to say. All right, so right here, you have your bird snare, your fish trap. This is where you make your traps. That's what the paw is right there, hunting. Right here, we've got furniture. That allows you to make a wooden hook, light hook, shelves, chairs, crates, all sorts of things your bed all that stuff will be found right here this first one this is where you're going to find your structures such as your basic shelter fire fire pit so on and so forth these will all unlock with your level as you level up your crafting ability right here you've got your crude spear you know all of your tools yada yada so then you go over to building same thing you've got your foundations different types of foundation require different types of materials obviously then you have your floors your floor is usually used for your second story this will be your second story area so don't worry about this unless you're building a two or a three story building your walls same thing obviously based upon on resources woods probably the best one to do right here walls with windows doors specific doors to actually open and close steps to get up and down different rooftops roof caps things of that nature all right now we move on we got vehicles now for vehicles we've got your raft base this is something you always need before you can put your flooring on your base is what floats. Your next thing you have is your flooring. This propeller is gonna be stuff like your raft canopy for when you want a raft, you're in the shade. Your anchor, sail, motor, the whole nine. This last category is the gyrocopter. As you can see, it requires level six of crafting to even make, which I don't know if I have level six or not. Next, we have farming. Farming is gonna be where you make your plots. In order to make plots for farming, you need a hoe. You have to make that in your, um, your tools crafting you craft a hoe and then you can craft these story this is what happens when you beat the megalodon this is the eel and then luska is the giant squid so you have to beat them to actually capture and collect certain things to get these parts consumables this is where you're going to find your coconut flask your aloe salve which will stop you from burning up bandages water skin this is very useful splint because you will break your ankles and your legs and note this is for good if you get stung by a clownfish or if you step on a sea anemone or urchin or whatever the heck those purple things are gauze will obviously stop the bleeding breath boost will allow you to hold your breath for longer underwater obviously a water bottle does what a water bottle does shark repellent this is useful if you're going deep underwater and you're going to be down there exploring for things like clay because this will keep the sharks away from you for a certain period of time but that's the basic rundown of the crafting you will unlock these based upon levels for example crafting is the very bottom one that looks like a hammer you have to get that to certain levels i think level seven is the max i believe and that allows you to create everything you can craft every single item so on and so forth so you want to get these up and these all correlate to based upon whatever you're doing for example the bow and arrow that's obviously hunting so if you're out there spearing fish or crabs or killing um pigs and things like that that skill will go up the cooking skill which is right below that will go up if you sit in front of your fire while it's cooking so if you have something cooking and you're just sitting there in front of it that's how you get that to go up the next one is i believe harvesting which comes when you do things like collecting coconuts or cutting down trees things like that that will go up with that ability so those will go up levels what that allows you to do is it allows you to chop things down faster you know stuff like that the one below that strength this is pretty much exactly what it is you swim faster you can throw spears a lot further and harder so they do more damage so that's pretty much what that's used for but that's an explanation a brief explanation of everything down the list so that's the uh a quick little rundown if you enjoyed this smack that like button peace and love everybody i'll see y'all next time later